You're watching Cambridge United TV. Disappointed, you know, in terms of where we are in position. Uh, I thought the start of the season has left us playing catch up. I mean, obviously, recently we've got six games unbeaten, but four of them have been draws. So I think we're in a, a lower position than I would expect, without a doubt. But do I feel that we are still able to attain playoffs? The answer to that is yes. But if you say to where we are at the moment, I'm uh, disappointed with the, the first 20 games, but there's you know, enough of the season to go, i.e. 26 games to turn that round. It's, uh, it's been an awkward time for a couple of them, through injuries. Uh, that's clear, it's played nowhere near where we wanted to. Obviously we lost Adam Miller very early who were two of our big signings within the summer. Uh, we've also lost Connell Platt for, for part of the season as well. So if you look at them three, it's been disappointing for them and, and the return we've got from them has been disappointing. But to say both Daz Clare and Connell Platt are going to have the chance to change it around Adam Miller one. Uh, James Jennings I think has done uh, well, settled in well. Uh, I think he's been better in recent games than he was early in the season. I think he's come on uh, in terms of uh, Kevin Roberts who was here last year that we re-signed. I think he's had a very good season and he's come in above centre-half and, and, and right back to do a job. Uh, Wayne Gray, who was sort of a late one, has, has certainly filled that role as fourth choice striker very well and give us a little bit of cover when we was out with our Claire and Marriott to do the job. So I think he's been more than worth his money that we've spent on him so far. Well, if you look at the, uh, you know, if you're going over and looking to going into today's game when you've got no Brian Sarr, no Adam Miller, no Daryl Clare, and you talk about going through your spine of your team, I think that there's no way, no doubt about it in my mind, they were three players that were going to form a big a big spine of our team for the season, and we've never had them three playing together in one game, and we've certainly lost out in terms of that. But uh, there is other players that have come in and done the job, but uh, certainly we've had some senior players out injured that's affected the season. We've had some injury situations where we've had you know, as many as 10 players out. So it's been awkward, uh, but you have to have a squad that's capable to cope with it. But uh, yeah, I can't, you know, for the life, I mean, I think I heard on the radio today coming in uh, that Bolton have had, that their team has been, seven of their players have played every single game. And I think that just proves what could happen if you, if you if their players fit here and they are big time players, then the, uh, the continuity would become a lot easier. schedule starts from the 18th really. I think we've got about six games in just over a two week period and you've got to make sure you've got enough squad members to start with and also enough uh, rest in between the games. It's, you know, it's, it's, it's an awkward period and there's no doubt about it when you're playing as much as the 26th, the 28th, the 1st, the 3rd. You know, it's, it's a period where a lot of, a lot of uh, the season's balance is proven whether, you're going to, whether you are going to push on to win in playoffs or we are going to stay as a mid table team. Or team will, dependent on them six games over Christmas, there's 18 points available and you know it's a big chunk of your season within that period so we've got to make sure we're right and ready to go. In terms of finances, you know, we've had a decent cut run but as I've said before it will be used to lessen the loss for the season. Uh, I don't think there will be any, any signings within the January period. There may be a little bit of shuffling of the pack as they say, maybe one in one out. Uh, but it's, it, it, we're pretty much set with what we've got. You know, the good news about the injury sitting in the front is that you know, Vassar's going to be back and Claire's going to be back. Uh, Platt is already back and the, and the, and the injuries that hopefully come to the, into the new year would only be missing Adam Miller and we've got a uh, young Stephen who on loan from Charlton that balances that off. So uh, I would say that there have been next to no movement, if any at all. stop uh, drawing and start to win games. I, I think that, my honest opinion, I think that uh, Luton, uh, Crawley and AFC Wimbledon will be three teams in the top five. I think the next two places are open for as many as 14 teams and where one of them 14 teams that can obtain that, then fourth and fifth places. I think, as I say, I think Crawley are going to be too strong. Luton and I think Wimbledon have got enough points to stay amongst it, but after that, uh, I think that anyone will be hard picked to pick the next two places, i.e. fourth and fifth, and I think that we're a contender, but we do need to start winning games ASAP. Mm -hmm.